to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos. Today's block is called Panama Star, finishes at 12 inches. Here's the diagram. The units we're making are triangle and square, and square and square are sometimes called square on point. And I think this is some kind of variation of the cat's cradle, but I'm not sure. Here are four blocks set block to block, and you see it almost gives the illusion of curves. And it would probably be even better if you chose different fabrics for the different blocks. Here are the patches. Patch A is a four inch finished half square triangle. We cut four and seven eighth inch squares, cut them in half once on the diagonal. We need four patches, and these uh, are the IQ quilt dies that will cut that shape. These patches are the large triangles in the four corners. Patch B is a two inch finished half square triangle. We cut two and seven eighth inch squares, cut them in half once diagonally for two patches. We'll need 16 patches of the red fabric and four patches of the background fabric. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut this shape. The next patches are for the four inch finished triangle and square. We have C and C reversed, that's the sides of the triangle, and we have D which is the triangle. Later I will go over cutting these. Here are the AccuQuilt dies that will cut these shapes. Patch E is a four inch finished square on point. You cut the square three and three eighth inches. Here is the AccuQuilt die that will cut this shape. The fabrics I've chosen are this sort of red or purple color and then this gold color and white for the background. This is patch A, the large triangles on the outer corners. These are the half square triangles that go inside. These pieces are for the triangle and square, and we're going to use the tri-rec rulers to cut these, and this is for the center square on point. We'll start by making the triangle and square. And for these, these are the sides, the gold is the sides. You'll cut one piece at four and a half inches times 15 inches. And fold it in half, wrong sides together, or right sides together, it doesn't really matter. Take the rectangle tool, Lay it on the four and a half inch mark and we'll cut. We're cutting two at a time. So when you cut two at a time, you get a left side and a right side. Now we'll cut three more sets. When you cut these, there's a little notch you cut off in the corner. Be sure to cut that off. For the triangle part, we have one strip cut four and a half inches times 15 inches. We use the triangle ruler, place it on the four and a half inch mark, and cut. And you'll cut four of these piece these together like this and we'll piece four of these units. If you're not familiar with sewing these together, either rotary cut like this or with the AccuQuilt, stay tuned for a demo on both methods of piecing these together. To piece the Tri-Rex unit, you turn the piece over like this and that little notch you cut out you're going to line up with this edge of the triangle. So you have your notch lining up that edge and then you have your side lining up with this edge. To start our stitching here and stitch a quarter inch all the way down. When you stitch it, your stitching should start right at this point here and this should be a quarter of an inch. So we've stitched all the way down to the bottom and then when we open it up and press the seam open, it will look like this. This nub up here you have to cut off because it just gets in the way. And down here, if you'll notice, there's also a nub that you can cut off. And this little angle for the rectangle fabric is sort of cut off a little bit. And that's just fine. Now we take our other side 
which is this. And we do basically the same thing. Match down here. Match where you cut off the little blunt edge right here along this line and then match the long side. And we'll start stitching here. If you can see where this V is, right at that point should be your quarter of an inch. And you start there and stitch a quarter of an inch all the way down and you should come off right here at this where this blunt edge was cut off. Here are two of them finished. This is what it looks like before the nubs are cut off. So you have a nub down here and here and then the last one up here. So you trim those off and here's what it looks like trimmed off. These little curved edges are just fine. It doesn't matter. It'll be taken up in the seam allowance. It's just how it comes out. The dies have cut off all the points here. This gives you a way to match up for your piecing. So we'll take this first one and flip it over. I'm matching this cut here and this edge. I usually start with this one because it matches better. This is at the tip of the triangle. So let's match this here and then match whatever, however it ends up here. Then I'll start stitching at a quarter of an inch and then finish stitching a quarter of an inch down here. This is the bottom part, that the part that I matched first, and you can see the stitching comes out almost right on that point. And up here, it doesn't really match any point here, so just be sure you have a quarter of an inch when you start stitching. This is pressed open. This is the bottom part of the triangle and you can see it, this white part or the side part comes out just a little bit, but that's okay. And then the top part comes out, they meet together at the edge. And that's what you want. Now we're going to flip this over. This is how the piece goes. So we'll flip this over. Now you're going to match the top part of the triangle with this part right here. So match that there, match the straight edge here and the edges here. Stitch up here, start here with your quarter of an inch. And here's what it looks like. This is even across the top here and that point is right at your quarter of an inch. And then down here you're off a little bit with your quarter of an inch, but that's okay because we did the same thing over here. Press the seams open. And here is your finished triangle and square unit. You see from the tip of this point to the edge is about a quarter of an inch. And it's straight across the edge, nothing to cut off here. And then down here, you'll see these little bitty pieces kind of come out a little bit. I would trim those off because they might get in the way when you're stitching. And you'll see that this white part or the side part comes out. It looks like maybe an eighth of an inch, but don't worry about that. It will be taken up in the seam allowance when you sew this unit to another piece. For step two, we're going to make the square in a square or square on point. Take the E patch and put it on point. Then we take our B patches like this, and I like to do opposite sides first, so I stitch these on, press them, and then come back and stitch these on and press those. If you're not familiar with how to do this, there's a short tutorial for both rotary cutting and Accu quilt coming up. You have your four half square triangles that go on the corners and your large square in the center that's set on point. I like to start by piecing opposite sides first. And what I do is flip this over, center the square on the triangle, matching these edges, the long edge of the triangle and one side of the square. You want to see if these triangles on over here on the right and here on the left are roughly the same size. You just kind of eyeball it. Stitch a quarter inch from this edge, a quarter inch seam allowance all the way down. Do this side as well. Press your seams open and if you look, these edges extend here 
And what I'm going to do now is just trim these off straight in line with the, the side of the square. Put your half square triangle down with the right side facing up and then place this in the center and then check your the size of your triangles overhanging here. You will start stitching right here in this V section where this point meets and this should be a quarter inch from here to the edge of this fabric. Start here, stitch a quarter of an inch all the way to this side and you should come out here at the same part on, on this side and do that on both sides. And here's what the stitching looks like and now you're going to press your seams open. Now I'll just trim off these little nubs on the sides and your unit's finished. I like to start by piecing opposite sides first. Place the half square triangle piece on top. We need to center it. I just kind of eyeball it and I'm looking at this, this little triangle of the bottom fabric poking out here. You can barely see it. It's a little triangle poking out here and then on the other side there's a little triangle poking out here. What you want to do is try to get them as close to the same size as possible. So I'm just kind of shifting it a little bit. A quarter of an inch should be right here at this point. So you stitch from this point a quarter of an inch all the way down and you come off at this point. And it's more important that you have the quarter of an inch than if you're exactly on the point. And you'll do that for both sides, this side and then this opposite side. Press your seams open. Now we'll flip it over and do the other two sides. You take your triangle and now you have sides that you can match. You see the triangle has the points cut off. These points are going to line up with what we just sewed. So if you look here, you see they line up with this edge, these two edges, here, here, and across the top. Now you'll stitch a quarter of an inch from that point here all the way down to this other point and do that to both sides. And it's really difficult to see this stitching because I used white thread, but you can see it coming out here, this little tag here, and over here. If these don't match, perfectly. If, if it's like it's not long enough, don't stretch this triangle because you'll just make the unit wonky. Just center it as much as you can and stitch a quarter of an inch. And there's your finished unit. At some point when you finish your square on point unit, you'll have to sew something else to it. And you want to keep these points nice and sharp and sometimes you might be matching it to a seam line or a plain piece of fabric or maybe another point and I'm going to show you how to keep these points nice. If you've pressed your seam open you will see where these three fabrics intersect and form a point right here. That's your point on the back and it's also your point on the front. So you can stitch with this part on top and you'll be able to make sure that your point stays there. I take a pin and put it right there at the point and then pick it up on this back side and in this case I'm going to come down about a quarter of an inch and then put that right in the seam line. That way the point will end up right on the seam line. Put your fabric pieces together and line up the top edges or the edges that you need to line up and make sure your pin is perpendicular, goes straight down into the fabric, like that. If you're at an angle like this, your points won't match. So make sure they're straight, perpendicular to the fabric, and then put it into the fabric. When you start sewing, line up these edges here, start at your quarter of an inch, and sew all the way down, and you're going to aim for this point where that pin goes into the fabric and you'll know that you're matching the point and the seam line on the back. And straighten your bottom edge again and continue stitching a quarter of an inch off. 
And here's what it's, the stitching looks like if you can barely see it on here with this thread. It goes right across here, leaving the point open. You're not stitching over the point. And then if I flip it over, you'll see it's not exactly a quarter of an inch there, but that doesn't matter because what you want is the point to match the seam allowance here. Now just press the seam open and you're finished. For step three, we're going to make four half square triangles. We'll take four of these and then four, these four, piece them together like this and press the seams open. For step four, we'll take the half square triangle and sew a patch B to the right side. And I just follow the picture and do it exactly like the picture is with the background facing this way and take a B patch and sew it like this. Line up this edge, fold it over, line up the bottom and the side and stitch a quarter of an inch. Press your seams open. Do that for all four of the half square triangles. Remember to cut your nubs off of this. I cut mine even with the top edge. With the remaining B patches we're going to stitch like this. Line up these edges, fold it over, line up this side and this side and stitch a quarter of an inch. Press your seams open and do that to all four. After stitching, the end of your stitch should end up right here where this 90 degree angle is. You see where the thread is coming off? It should end like that because when you press it open then you'll have a nice straight edge across here. You'll need to cut off the nubs. For the last step we take the A patch and sew it like this. Match up all three sides as best you can and stitch a quarter inch along the long side. You might want to turn it over and stitch so you can see where you pressed. As you're coming down with your stitching, start here a quarter of an inch and you want to stitch right above this point so you won't cut off your points on the other side and then continue stitching down. Press the seams open. All the units are done. We'll just look at the diagram and put the block together. Stitch the units together into rows and then stitch the rows together. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and while you're at it, click the bell to be notified of future videos.